What's cracking like it's your boy Bro Schmo, just in case you did not know so and we're back again once again another team specific mock draft the draft content just keeps coming and we're doing the LA Chargers we're building we're building around our boy Justin Herbert I don't know why I said it that way but uh, go ahead, become a bro and subscribe. Leave that thumbs up if you enjoy the content. We're going to take a look at the roster. We're going to come up with a draft strategy, try to execute it, and see how I do. Let me know how I do in the comment section below. Indulge in that nice, beautiful football discourse down there. Without further ado, let's get into the nitty gritty UC code, bro. Schmo, it's walkthemock.com live draft simulator where you draft against real life people in real life time we do this for our streams we do our own mock drafts and you can be involved in that use the code bro schmo to become a premium member if you would like to be a part of one of those all caps 20 percent off so let's take a look at the roster straight up i'm going to tell y'all straight up um yeah yeah that's pretty big actually uh straight up this is my thought process um Offensively, I would like to get a tackle, whether it's Darisaw or Slater, whoever falls to us at 13. That's the plan. That's the plan. Sure up the left tackle. Protect your quarterback. Um, straight, like, listen, okay, Jared Cook, he's a one-year. He's a one-year starter. He's a one-year rental, essentially. Um, not even a rental. Uh my plan in the third round is to get a Tommy Tremble. I think a Tommy Tremble would be very valuable to this roster, especially right now. So that's kind of the idea. And then with the second pick, I, I feel like that's probably the best area for us to trade down if we can, because I do want to be involved in the corner class. Let's look at the defense. The defense, I think, definitely needs some more depth at a variety of different spots. You got uh because they're gonna be more moving more towards kind of like a three four. Um, like you're gonna have Joseph uh, Linval Joseph be the nose there. I think you're gonna have Jerry Tillery kind of be a um like the the uh, the five tech essentially, but he's more of a gap penetrator, so he's probably gonna be there around the B gap. Uh Bosa is gonna be on the outside at the edge. We could grab another edge to um like was it Nawusu? He, he's fine. They brought in Kyler uh, Fackrell, who's actually not bad either. Uh, maybe linebacker, but really, I think linebacker will just go ahead, dress that maybe day three. Depending on what we get for a trade down, maybe we can't address it day two. Uh, I really want to address the corner position. Michael Davis is a fine cornerback too. Chris Harris, they're probably going to keep him in the slot. I think that's ideal. He wants to be in the slot. So improving the cornerback position, if I can find a ready now starter, like um, maybe a Paulson and Debo, if we can't find anything at that second round pick. Um, but maybe uh, like this one's tough. It's tough. Kelvin Joseph, kind of ideal, kind of ideal. And maybe even improving uh, Nazir Adderley. Uh, but there's guys, I think, day day three, like um, Derek Forrest, uh, Chris Brown. Um, let's see, what else do we got there? Um, trying to go through my safeties. Tyrese. Um, Galipsby. And I know I'm mispronouncing that last name, dude. Uh, we could... Also improve the nose tackle position just because Joseph is he's a vet, so it won't be nice to have a backup plan some down further down the line, but it just doesn't feel like the the time and place to do that. So that's kind of the idea. That's the idea. Uh we could also do a Fatu Melifanwu. I don't know how ready now he is, but might have to just throw a guy like that to the uh to the Lions. <laughs> godspeed so that's the plan i think it's a solid plan tackle trade down potential corner tommy tremble uh and then we could really start grabbing like um linebacker in the fourth uh, maybe some edge 
edge help, more secondary help, maybe a safety. Linebacker and safety in the fourth are kind, are probably my my ideal. So that's the plan. I think it's a solid strategy. Let's see how it works out. Now I'm not hitting trade. Why am I hitting trade? Well, let's go ahead and see what, what picks we are working with. So, okay, we've got two third rounders. So th this could work out. I'm, I'm feeling good. Start this draft. All right. Trey Lance. What? Dude, these simulate. I mean, you can never predict what happens in the draft. So things be Justin Fields is still on the board. I, I mean, oh, oh, hold the freaking phone. There's like, with him being on the board, like trading down is not a bad option. All right, we would get a much earlier third, but he throws a fifth in there. I think I kind of value the earlier third, but then I lose. I, I drop down. Okay, if I drop down to a um, if I'm dropping down to 25, Samuel Cosme is probably the pick. Um, Cosme, maybe even Caleb Farley. We could maybe go and go for left tackle in the second. Uh, same with this. Um, I really wish they made it better for you to see who's available on the board. Uh, like Greg Newsom also pops into mine, which might be more valuable here. Yeah, this might be actually may much more valuable because maybe I rather the earlier first. What am I saying? I, I probably prefer the earlier first. Like Caleb Farley's also there. I think we're gonna accept that yeah darsaw was already off the board okay so wow slater and darsaw that's the right decision i think that was the right decision we already took one trade by the way if you don't know we're only allowed to accept one trade and one trade only mac jones is still on the board what the flip uh but wow both corners are off oh no caleb farley's right there um we're only allowed to accept one trade one trade only and uh as you saw, we cannot seek it out. It has to be offered to us. All right. So what are we doing with this pick? Merrick's not a bad option. I'd prefer Caleb Farley. Uh, we did pick up the extra third and fifth. Wow, man. Wow. I can't believe how this draft has unfolded. This is very weird and unprecedented. Unprecedented. Um, uh, how is the tackle class going? <sighs> yeah, if we don't do it now, then we're pro maybe best case scenario is Walker Little, Brady Christensen. Maybe. I don't think Cosme gets to us. We could risk it for the biscuit. Uh, Merig. Caleb Farley, it's a bit risky, but it's kind of worth it. He's ready now. He'd be better than any of the guys we're getting in the second. Like he's you can throw him on the field now. I'm concerned about the injuries. Um <sighs> Dang, dude. Sucks, man. It would have been nice if Darcel was. <laughs> it would have solved my problems if Darcel was available there. All right. So, what are we? 43, I want to say. 47, even worse. Oh, my gosh. All right. This, this, is, the, this is the plan. We're going to go. All right. Okay. I'm trying to think. Do I rather Caleb Farley and like a Chris Brown or a, and a Derek Force or a Trevon Merrig and maybe a Kelvin Joseph early third? I think I rather. I think I rather that. Let's do it. Dang it, dude! There goes Cosme. Uh, Redunes, don't go, Redunes. Redins, don't go. There he goes. Okay. Flip, man. This 
Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, we, no, we have to do tackle, man. We have to do tackle. Um, I mean, Matt Filer can play left or right tackle if they want to put Bulaga out there. Um, so 77, 83, 97. Okay. Um, uh, oh, oh. I mean, Walker Little is not even on the board. Lip, are you serious? There's no way. Scroll up. There's no way. Where, where did he went to San Fran? Ugh. James Hudson ain't ready to start. Oh, the draft. Freaking love the draft. I mean, Cosme can be guard, but I, it's, it, it's tackle. It has to be tackle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm kind of cool with either of those guys, actually. Looking at it. Okay, I feel better about the corner position. It's just, man, that, that really, uh, I shouldn't have expected that. I should have, you know what, just, I should have, um, I'm going to be straight up honest. I should have just taken tackle. You know, Jackson Carmen though, super athletic for his size. This may seem unconventional. I think I'm going to take Carmen. Dude, he was able to keep freaking Tra uh, Trevor Lawrence upright all last season. So I th think that's what we're doing. Um, Eichenberg, eh, dude's going to be a corner. Um, Leatherwood, I don't think, is a good scheme fit. Neither is Mayfield. Neither of those guys. And they might, did I say corner for Eichenberg? Guard. And I think the same with that. Maybe Brady Christensen, dude. He tested out ridiculous. At 47, dude? Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm, ugh. I'm going to get torn to shreds. Tear me to shreds, dude. Just do it. The dude tested out phenomenally. It was he, him or Jackson Carmen. I felt like I had to go there regardless. There goes Kelvin Joseph. We're going to have to go corner. There goes Tommy Tremble, man. Oh, the whole draft strat's falling to freaking pieces. Ugh. At this point, man, I might just take value. Tyson Campbell's interesting. But yeah, at this point, I think I'm just going to go with value. Uh, Kendrick Green's also a bit interesting. Um, our next pick is a few picks from now. Let's go with Osai. Yeah, I'm screwed. I'm I'm taking just great players. Patrick Turner actually be kind of dope too. Um Gosh, what a draft. We do have a pick coming up at 97. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I was looking at Kendrick Green. That's why I'm thrown off. I was like who was I getting? Oh, that's right. Uh, maybe Peyton Turner here, actually. I mean, I know they got Tillery, though, playing kind of that role. Uh, like, Campbell does not set the world on fire for me here. Uh, 
All right, this might sound strange. I think I'm going to go with Jalen Darden. I know he's like a slot only, but... <sighs> yeah, maybe not. Hold up. <laughs> maybe not. Brevin Jordan, maybe? I mean, it, he doesn't have the same, like, um, ability that I was, like, kind of looking for Tommy Tremble. I thought Tommy Tremble would be really dope. Uh, yeah, let's go Brevin Jordan. Let's get our... Let's get our... Um, tight end please stop offering me trades you're just reminding me of my failures <laughs> i was gonna say no way painted turner stays on the board this long uh yeah let's go we're gonna go benjamin st juice Uh, Paulson and Debo might be another pick, too. Oh, no. There he goes. Okay. I was going to say, I don't mind double dipping. So, this is what our draft looks like thus far. I'm not mad at it. Like, they're good players. At this point, it's like, uh, I'm just taking really good value, really good players. Um, literally, this was the dream for me. Christian Darisaw, um Kelvin Joseph or uh, who was the other cat I was thinking about? Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm so flustered now. Uh, I think I think for the most part, though, it was Kelvin Joseph. Um, and then um, let's see who else who else were we working with? Uh, then Tommy Trembles, Tremble. Uh, yeah, just it just didn't work out, man. It just didn't work out. I'm 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 still happy with what we got. Like Merrig, St. Juice, you could start immediately. Uh size is very interesting in this uh defense. And Brady Christensen. Some people will love him, some people won't love him. Uh let's see. We could grab Tamari and Terry, big physical receiver downfield, but he didn't operate in the slot. Okay, okay. This is my mindset right here, thinking about receiver, right? Um, okay, first off, though, let me look at um, this. We're not going there. And Robert Hainsley's kind of intrigued. Tyler Shelvin, hold up. Right here with this pick. Uh, okay, who else would I be picking? Marlon Toby Peloto is like a 3 4 end, too. Um, I'm th okay. I was thinking Tamari and Terry because when you kick uh, Keenan Allen to the inside, to the interior, you could have him come out there, be a dangerous vertical threat. But I mean, Mike, Mike Williams is exactly that. <laughs> I did one linebacker too. Monty Rice is not a bad option. What other options are staring me down in the face? Like Dylan Moses, but is that it's not much different than what they have there. Uh, so Monty Rice is kind of a pick here. Um, Um, I feel like I was considering a multitude of things and now I just, I can't remember Tyler Shelvin. That's what I was thinking. Uh, okay. If we don't do Tyler Shelvin, I don't think it gets pretty because there's some concerns with Bobby Brown and his discipline. Um, Tonga, believe it or not, for as beefy as he is, he's a pretty bad run blocker or run uh, defender. He gets pushed back in the run game. He's actually more of a pass, uh, what do you call it? A, um, a pass rusher, which is kind of weird. Uh, I think I'm going to go Shelvin here. At the very least, you know you're getting a good run stopper, run stuffer. There goes Monty Rice. Yeah, I guess linebacker just wasn't it, man. Just wasn't it. I mean, we could get Dylan Moses, but great. What's he going to do in coverage? It's not fabulous. Uh, 
All right. So here we are. Uh, ooh. A couple of big boys at receiver available here. What else are we working with? Um, oh, not 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 much of anything else. Okay, so it's just big beefy receivers that go uh, that go deep. Well, no, that's not true necessarily with Cornell Powell. Uh, I don't think that's exactly what I'm looking for right now. Let's take a look at the picks. Uh, where could we go? Offensive line receiver is still an option, but these aren't the receivers I kind of want. All right, hear me out on what I'm about to say here. Derwin James, you can use in a variety of different roles. He he's kind of like a he's kind of like a jumbo safety. You could use him around line of scrimmage as a linebacker. You can really like you could throw him out at corner, really. Cause I'm thinking I'm gonna get Chris Brown to pair up with um Trevon Merrick, because they're gonna be doing a lot of a lot of split safeties, like a lot of split safety sets. So I'm thinking Merrick and then either Adderley or Brown. That's what I'm thinking. It's what I'm putting down. I don't know if anyone's picking it up. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're doing. I feel like I'm the only guy really high on Chris Brown. Yeah, like look where they they don't even have this guy ranked. Man, he's so good. He's so good. Hey, it's our pick already. Holy moly. Oh, uh, there's Hubbard. Also, hear me out on this thought, okay? I'm going to address the offensive line once again, just in case Brady Christensen ends up being a guard. Uh, Jalen Moore, very explosive, but needs a little time to develop. So, like, that could be, that could be maybe a tackle of the future. I think we're going to go with that, man. I think we're going to go with that. Um, I don't mind betting on... The, how you would say um, traits, how you would say developmental prospects. I don't know why I'm saying it in an accent. I just love accents. I wish I could do accents better. That's what it really is. It's jealousy. It's jealousy in my life. I wish I could do accents better. All right, we're back here again. Really, we're just going best available, uh, if I'm going to be straight up honest. Uh, Mike Williams, he doesn't have an extension yet, right? So I think I'm going to go semi Fahoko, who's he big, he fast. Maybe a replacement for Mike. Uh, did I say Mike, Mike Wallace? Mike Williams. Doesn't hurt. Plus, I mean, having those guys on the field at the same time ain't bad either. Um, it's the sixth round, man. It's the sixth round. What do you expect? All right, here we are again. Uh, let's see. We could address the corner position. Again, Cameron Bynum's kind of a fit. Well, I say kind of. He probably is, actually. Uh, I don't know much else we'd be doing here. I mean, we could dip our toe in the running back game, but it's a little late at this point. We might as well just take a guy maybe in the seventh. <laughs> I don't even think we have a seventh round pick. Yeah, might as well just take an undrafted free agent. Maybe Joshua. Who is it? Joshua Kelly, right? Uh, well, they also got Justin Jackson. Yeah, what am I even? Why? Why am I considering? It? Okay, let's go corner again. Um, I imagine Tutu Atwell comes off the board. I just, 
I don't know if they really have it. Like, it's going to be take a special team to f that's willing to scheme him. So, uh, yeah, the more I look at this, this is a good draft. There's a lot of good players here. While it wasn't what I had in my mind, it's not bad. It's not bad whatsoever. You know, whatever I have to say to make me sleep at night. Here comes another pick. Uh, I was going to say Frank Darby is kind of different. I wouldn't mind Frank Darby. All right, this is our last pick. Um, I'm not going to lie. Marcus Gilbert, I'm kind of thinking of. Why not take shots? Put some depth at the corner position. What do we have? We have, we literally only have Chris Harris and um, Michael Davis. That is, quite frankly, that is it. Yeah, I'm addressing the, like Mark Gilbert is worth taking a shot at. Like his upside worth taking a shot at. Um, wow, I I I kind of like this draft. I was a bit indifferent at the beginning, man. I. As my whole draft strategy started crumbling to the ground, I was a bit indifferent, but I think we pulled it off. Um, they traded for Justin Fields, which, hey, it doesn't matter who we draft. Um, when you're trading up for a quarterback, well worth it. Well worth it. So they won that trade. Uh, but we got Merrick, we got Brevin Jordan, and Jalen Moore. So not bad, not bad. So these are our picks. We had 11 picks. Um, kind of hoping Christensen's the left or right tackle of the future. Uh, but we also have a potential backup plan in um, Jalen Moore where maybe we move Christensen to guard or maybe those are both our tackles of the future. We'll see. Merrig um, with Chris Brown because I'm telling you, you could do fun stuff with Derwin James. A lot more teams are running three safety sets. A lot They're running a lot of sub packages. So we could keep those guys on the field because we didn't address linebacker. Um, I just, I just couldn't find good value, man. I just couldn't find good value. Uh, let's see where else. Joseph aside too, we brought in another edge. Like he's super duper athletic. I kind of like it. Reverend Jordan might be our tight end of the future. I like what we did with the cornerback position. Cameron Bynum is a good fit. Mark Gilbert's worth taking a shot at. And Benjamin St. Juice, you could start immediately. I'm a big fan. Tyler Shelvin, at the very least, is going to be an elite run stuffer at the nose tackle position. It's a Mike Fajoko. He big, he fast. So I think I did a good job. You let me know what you think in the comment section below. That's it for the video. Until next time, you be easy, my friends. Ta-ta. Later.